Hey guys, with today's video we're gonna give this desk a makeover with a little bit boho style to it. The first thing I did, I gave the whole piece light sanding to the bottom and really strip all the top and give it really good sanding so I want to see the light with color. Then we're gonna remove the knobs and clean the piece using TSP so I can remove all the dirt and the sand and everything. After that we're gonna prime it. Just let your piece dry a little bit from the TSP and give it quick oil based primer so it can prevent any leaking from the wood. After letting my primer dry for a few hours, time to protect the top part so it don't get messed up with the paint. After I was done preparing my piece, it's time to paint. With today's project, we're gonna use Anasonon chalk paint and I started with the color Florence. This is my fourth project with these same colors. So I'm gonna mention on top the project that I did before, different styles. You can check them out if you want. So I'm just gonna give the piece a light one coat first, then we're gonna do that all over again with a second coat and blend the colors a little bit better and more. I want it to have like that dabbing uh, effect to it, but all that will be covered, not covered, but it will have another style on top of that. So the second color, it's by the same brand, Anna Salon, and the color is Antibes Green. Then after that, to the back, we're gonna use the, I think, Lam Lam or Lim Lam color, which is a really bright apple green color. It's a beautiful color. I absolutely love how these two colors blending together or I'm gonna do for the second coat the same thing I'm not gonna show you because it's a lot of a long process so let's jump to the second step where I added my decoupage paper by redesign with Prima this paper called Zoe it comes in two sheets and I probably use four of them yeah to cover the whole bag I really love the way I use the putty knife with adding the gel. It's a little bit easier for me than the brush and not so sticky because the brush will dry and it will get sticky or even the foam brush that I used before or tried before. But of course everyone has, has his own way of adding the decoupage paper. For this one, I'm just going to use the putty knife, add a thin layer first, then apply my decoupage paper. Then apply another coat of the gel by Redesign with Prima. It's the new gel they have, a decoupage gel, uh, I think for the for the fall release. And just let it dry. It's really nice, not sticky, and it's even. It did had a little bit wrinkles in the middle, but I tried my best to fix that by adding the gel. If you notice, my paper is technically white and black, but because of my base color is Lim Lim color, which is the bright apple green color, that's why it's showing or reflecting through the paper, the green color. And this is what I want it to show up, like black, the writing, and the green. So my your base color is definitely gonna reflect or will show through the paper in if you want a different color, you can definitely add a different color. I will do like the wash technique on the paper so I can have a little bit rustic on top of that. The 
definitely love working with this kind of tissue paper because it's not thin it comes like a fabric fabric or thick it will not rip easily so you're gonna have a flexible paper to work with which is easy here if you see the paper showing from the back because it wasn't dry yet so you can just sand the edges if you want it sharp or you can just use a cutter to cut it because of the gel it will make it kind of hard for uh, the front I, that's why I wanted to add a rustic look a little bit so I added water to my paint I'm using a chalk paint by Valsbar and that was like I had a little bit left so I just added water I want to do the wash technique brown so I can have a rustic look to the whole piece So the good thing is you can definitely add some color to your uh, decoupage paper because it's thick and you don't have to worry about it to rip or get damaged. That's what I loved about this one. Now it's time to add the a new transfer by Prima. It's called the Exotic Borders. This one comes in a, like um, a lot of shapes. You can cut them and add them to whatever you want. And I decided to use them on the desk, the drawers, since I have a lot of kind of separated drawers, if you notice the design. So I can add on each side or each drawer a design, a different design then. And the leftovers, I use them for the inside so I don't waste any uh, transfer. And for the last step, I'm using my sea sponge on the edges a little bit to add a little bit of rustic look. And with that, we'll be done. So it's time now to use my sprayer to give it a top coat. I'm using polyacrylic water base. So I added three coats of uh, the polyacrylic water base uh, top coat. And after that, I just let my piece dry with the chair. the final results of the desk and the chair thank you so much guys for watching please let me know if you have any questions don't forget to like the video if you like it and I want to show you the four pieces that I worked on using the same colors by Anna Sanon each one of them has a different style if you want to like to see it just check my channel and watch it thanks again